from my personal experiences that it's it's I need to find a way to correct that destructive behavior that I've been on, that downward spiral. My mental health is following my channel's health, uh, and I need to correct that so I can continue to do what I wanted to originally do. The gaming YouTuber Chilled Chaos just made a video. It's called Let's Chat, and he has over 1.4 million subscribers, but he just made this video talking about how he's depressed, so let's talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So first and foremost, a huge shout out to, I think she's a new subscriber. Her name is Jasmine K, and she's like, yo, have you seen Chilled Chaos? And I'm like, no. And I was eating dinner and bored. I'm like, let's see what's going on. And I watched, and this guy, Chilled Chaos, he seems like a cool guy. I am a gamer as well. Um, not on this channel, but play a bunch of games. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, uh, I thought there was a lot of good points to touch on it. So anyways, now that this channel's growing a little bit, you guys are getting to know me, like, I wanna talk a little bit about myself, what I'm trying to do, what my plans are, what my expectations are, and here's the thing. I am probably going to get comments down below like I did on my Mar Marzia video. Did I say Marzia right? Did I say Marzia right? I don't know. Anyways, so, um, yeah, a lot of people are like, you don't even know him, bro! You don't even know him! And I'm like, I know. Like, my videos are not for all of these YouTubers, my videos are for you, okay? I'm a tiny, 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 tiny drop in the ocean that is YouTube. But for all of you, I hope, you know, you can learn from these because why do we watch YouTube? Why do we watch our favorite YouTubers? We watch our favorite YouTubers because we can relate to them on some level. You know, maybe if it's Chilled Chaos, you love the games he plays and his personality and all that. But other, like vloggers and things, like you might be able to relate to them and connect to them. So if you can relate to them, then maybe what might help them might help you as well. And I hope that makes sense. But this is a, a little bit of a pipe dream of mine and it's, it's interesting too because I, I made a video about Shane not long ago and I talked about unsolicited advice. And I try not to give unsolicited advice, but what I try to do is use examples to help others, if that makes sense. But I would love, you know, at some di uh, at some point, like I just love helping people with their mental health. And, you know, I would like, I would hope that maybe some YouTubers out there are like, yo, I watched your video about what you thought I should do and I did it and it helped. I'm like, cool, because that's what I do. That's what I do. I help people, they tell me about their issues and what they're going through and I give them some suggestions and I try to help them with their mental health. That's what I do. So I don't know if Chilled Chaos will ever see this video, but more importantly, this video is for you. So uh, yeah, and those of you who don't know me, I give some tough love. There are going to be some tough love moments in this video, so that is your warning. All right, so anyways, Chilled Chaos, I don't know much about him. So, that's the first thing I'll say. I do not know much about him. So disclaimer, I do not know much about Chilled Chaos. I just watched his first video because it was recommended to me. He referenced back to a different video, which I checked out. So that is all I know of him, right? But I see a lot of similarities between him and other YouTubers who are dealing with these uh, mental health issues, right? So anyways, Chilled Chaos, he's been on the platform for about 10 years. And basically in this video, the Let's Chat video, he talks about you know, how he hasn't been happy. He hasn't been happy since like January, right? And we're sitting in October. Not being happy since January and now it's October, that is a long time. That is a very long time. Like, according to the DSM, like, that long of not being happy if you have specific symptoms of depression, like, you can get diagnosed by a mental health professional for having a mental health disorder, right? Um, specifically major depressive disorder. So that's a long time, that's a long, long, long time. So what I wanna do is I wanna break down some parts from his video and just kinda share a little bit of my experience, my tips, my advice, because if you can relate to what he is, then maybe this video will help you out. But I really need to talk to a therapist. I need, I need someone who's got the education uh, and, and the know-how to kinda put me on the right corrective course and not a destructive course. So right here, he talks about how he needs to go see a therapist and he should see a therapist and he referenced his exposed video where he talked about it. So I went to his exposed video from two months ago. I don't know if that's the one he was referencing because I didn't see him talk about therapy, but he talked 
about two different questions. He talked about depression, but he also talked about his relationship with his mother too. So chill chaos is like a lot of us. We've had a lot of stuff go on in our lives. And until we process those things in a healthy way, like I'm letting you all know right now, the stuff from your childhood is still with you. Like I used to think all that like, that childhood stuff and da 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 da. Like I thought that was all baloney until I understood how the brain works. I understood neuroscience. Like if we don't deal with that stuff, if we don't deal with our abandonment issues, if we don't deal with our trust issues, if we don't deal with our our fear of like failing and all these things from our childhood, we are going to be a victim of those same problems as an adult. So one of the things that I just want to talk about. First and foremost, and this is gonna be a theme throughout the, the video, it's like, I don't understand why we joke about like getting therapy. Like, it's just this like passing like fleeting thing that we say. Like, oh yeah, I should probably go to therapy, right? Like, Chill Chaos actually talked about how he needs somebody who's educated in mental health to help guide him on the right path. Like, he knows he needs it. Like, something that's been coming up, and one of you was been, were binge watching my channel, I have a really old video called Common Sense vs. Common Action. And a lot of us have common sense, but we don't have common action. For example, common sense is that I should quit smoking. That's common sense. But am I taking action? No, I'm not. Like that's something I'm dealing with right now. But I see that a lot with mental health help, right? Common sense is I should get therapy. Common sense is I should have a support group. Common sense is I should do A, B, and C, all these other things. But what action are you gonna take? And I say this because, you know, for me, when I was really down and struggling with my mental health, we're talking about uh, alcohol and drug addiction, uh, addiction. We're talking about being suicidal. We're talking just about terrible relationships, all sorts of stuff. I remember like joking with my friends while getting messed up and saying like, oh, we should go, you know, to like therapy or go to a 12 step program. And then we just like, ha 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 ha. And we laugh about it. But six years ago, I almost died. Like we need to take these actionable steps and do something to go get help. All right, and this is something like I love about so many of you watching my channel. Like I've done some videos like in the past few days where I've gotten a little bit tougher on all of you. And so many of you have said like, Chris, that inspired me to get my butt up and go do something. And I am just like, yes, 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 yes. That makes me so, so, so happy. So if you haven't done something yet today, like do something, do something. Even if it's just researching, getting help, do something, take one small step towards getting help. I, I think I think really YouTube needs to come with a free license to uh, to a therapist. Hey, hashtag, what's that website that everyone was upset about? Anyway, um, just because there's so much volatility with this job. Now, something that he's talking about, oh my God, this is interesting because I've actually heard other YouTubers say this and it's nuts and I'll try to, I'll try to keep this short-winded, but like people say like YouTube should come with a therapist, right? Like YouTube should come with a therapist. So many people are struggling with mental health. It's like, no, YouTube shouldn't come with a therapist. Like that's on you. Like here's the problem. And here's one of the reasons why I teach my son the importance of his mental health is because the schools aren't doing this. This is a school problem. This is an educational problem, right? Like no matter how many math equations you know or how many rings on Saturn there are that you memorize or if you memorize the presidents or know physics, like this doesn't help our, our mental and emotional well-being. Like schools that have implemented meditation have like way, way more success rates than like anybody else. And it's because their students have more, um, uh, regulation over their emotions, right? So like, this isn't a YouTube problem. It's because we've been trained from a young age that stuff is going to make us happy. And this is something that chilled chaos might be dealing with. Notice how I said might for all of you who are gonna freak out at me in the comments, like you don't know him. But uh, anyways, he might be struggling with this because I, I mentioned this in my uh, one of my videos the other day, like it's that thing, we always think that something is going to make us happy. And for a lot of YouTubers, it's the views or the subscribers or the dollars, whatever it is. So Chill Chaos talks about how he was going crazy and overanalyzing his analytics. And yes, yes, like I'm obsessive too. I can do that. I can sit in my analytics all day long. I'm telling you all right now, if any of you are planning on starting a YouTube channel or any kind of social media thing, my channel did not start growing until I stopped caring, right? Until I stopped caring. But here's my other tip for Chilled Chaos, as well as all of you, gratitude. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. Gratitude, right? Like as somebody who just hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm like, yes, this is amazing. And then I see somebody like Chilled Chaos, like 
throughout the video, he's talking about how, you know, like his channel's not growing, he's not getting the many views, and all of this, and that. The dude has over one million subscribers. Like, that is the size of, like, a decent-sized city. You know what I mean? We have to be grateful for what we have. And my girlfriend reminds me of this all the time. All the time, right? I keep comparing myself to others and all this. I keep seeing other channels go viral and everything, right? And I keep looking at that, and she's like, Chris, you have 20,000 subscribers. And you know what helps me out too? Like some of you out there who have created YouTube channels, like I subscribe and I check them out. And like, some of you like have like 20 or 30 subscribers and you are ecstatic. And I'm like, man, like that helps bring me back. That helps bring me back down and be grateful for what I have. Like seeing how grateful you are for just one new person subscribing, like yes. So like, I think what happens with a lot of YouTubers is that they, what, you know what, it's not even YouTubers. Our bar for contentment is constantly changing, right? Like, think about when you were a kid. Think about when you were a kid. Do you remember when you were a kid when like $10 felt like a million dollars, right? Then you were like a teenager and then like $100 felt like a million dollars. But now like we're in this place where we need like tens of thousands or millions of dollars in order to be happy, right? So as we change, as we get older, like we keep moving our own goal line, right? And that's one of the issues that we're all struggling with. And we need to be mindful of that. And I'm telling you, gratitude helps bring that back. And looking at others helps keep you humble and be even more grateful for what you have. Again, this isn't supposed to be like, oh, pity me party, because I swear to God, if there's any pity fucking comments in the, in the channel, I can't say that because that will demonetize the YouTube video. If, uh, if there's any pity comments in the channel, no, I, I am not looking for pity or, or, or I'm not looking for pity or, or a, a cry or chill. It's, you're going to be so good. It's so funny. No, I'm not looking for that. I am just telling you how I feel. And I want you to understand that a lot of us feel the same way. He talks about uh, having a pity party and like, and it sucks. It sucks, man. Like, I hate how we have to do that. You know, like I hate how we have to do that. Right? Like, can we just talk about how we feel? Like, can we? Can we just talk about how we feel without having a motive, you know? And it's funny because I've talked about some YouTubers and how manipulation works and stuff, but I don't know, like from what I've seen from Chilled Chaos, he seems like he's legitimately struggling right now. He's not trying to get a pity party or anything like that. But like, I've tried to tell you all like a million times, quit caring so much what people think. Like, yeah, open up to people, talk to people. Like, I'm glad that someone like, Chilled Chaos, as well as many other YouTubers, are opening up about their mental health, right? And if anybody says that you're trying to just get a pity party, like, screw them. Forget about them. And I'm gonna create something, whether by myself or with other people, and I'm gonna do that because I've wanted to do that for the longest freaking time. I'm also gonna learn how to cook. So right here, he talks about these new things that he wants to do, these new things. And like, here's the disclaimer for this, okay? This stuff might work, it might, right? But here's my concern, and here's my concern with a lot of you too, because it's something that I used to do. When we hit this depression, right? When we hit this funk, we just start thinking, and our mind starts going crazy, and it's almost like this form of like mania, right? And we're just like, you know what? You know what? I need to exercise more, I need to cook, I need to clean, I need to do this, I need to do something, I need to find these new hobbies, right? And it's like, Here's my fear with that. I see people who think those things are gonna fix them. They just wanna try everything. Like, don't get me wrong, like, you have to find new passions. You have to find what you love doing. Like, Chill Chaos mentions in his video, his hobby became his job, right? And, and it's a tricky balance because my hobby is learning about mental health and helping people with their mental health. And that's kind of my job, too. But I love it. I love it every single day, right? But, my fear is that he's gonna go out and try to like just chase these things that aren't going to make him happy. But again, this is why you speak to a mental health professional. You speak to a mental health professional because here's what I've seen happen to a lot of people, a lot of people. They're like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing yoga five times a week. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna go like read all these self-help books. I'm gonna do like a juice cleanse. They do all this stuff. Then they're still miserable. And then what it does is it increases our hopelessness and we don't wanna try to get better again. And I hope that makes sense. So this is why you should work with somebody who has an objective point of view, right? So Tilt Chaos has a fiance. She might not be the best person to be like, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. You should go do this. Like an outside person. And that's why therapists are so great. So Chill, you, you talked my ear off. What is, what is actually changing? Uh, well, one, I'm going to try and better myself. Uh, that's the first thing I'm going to change. I'm going to try and mentally better myself, physically better myself. 
And that's just me telling you from a content creator to an audience. That doesn't change anything that I'm doing, but I'm letting you know that there are things that are wrong with me that I'm going to try and fix. So this is the last uh, clip I wanna show you where he says he's gonna try to better himself. And it reminds me of Ace 3 Ace 3 like Ethan Klein, when he was, he's talked about this for months, months, all year. Like people are even like accusing him of just trying to get pity. But like, there's so many people who, who just say, I'm gonna try to better myself. I, they say it, right? Like, we can say this all day long. Like one of my favorite sayings is like this old like, I don't know, thing that people used to say, right? Like if there's three birds, if there's three birds sitting on a wire, right? And one makes a decision to fly away, how many birds are left? There's still three. Because making a decision doesn't mean jack, right? So what does trying to better yourself mean? What does that mean for you? And this is different for everybody. What does it mean to try to better yourself? Because we can think about all this stuff. Again, it's common sense versus common action. But I would recommend speaking with some kind of mental health professional, even if you just tried therapy for a month. For a month, I don't care. Like, check with your insurance company, see if there's any therapists that are under your insurance, and boom, go do your thing, baby. But something I see a lot of YouTubers struggle with is their powerlessness over uh, YouTube, right? You have no control over what the audience wants, what the algorithm's gonna do, if YouTube's gonna, you know, demonetize you, and all these other things. And this is why I love you know, people who work on an internal locus of control, right? So people with an external locus of control think that they have no control over anything that happens. People with an internal locus of control, they know that they have control over things that happen, right? So like, with Chilled Chaos, I would say this, through my brief research of him, He's not doing, he's not doing everything he can to bring in an income. And I know he's talked about buying a house, I know he has a wedding coming up, and all of that. And like, you cannot just depend on YouTube. You know, like, people out there who are like doing well, right? They don't depend on YouTube. There are people with far less subscribers than people like Chilled Chaos making a million times more money because they're diversifying, right? They're doing speaking engagements, they're writing books, you know? They're doing all sorts of things. They have Patreon, that like, Ah, like there's so many things. And this is how you take control of what you're doing. But I see so many people on YouTube just, you know, relying on YouTube for everything. And like, that's just the worst thing you can do when trying to do YouTube. Do not rely on YouTube. I've only been on the platform for like a little over a year and like, I can't rely on it. You know what I mean? So I can only imagine these people who've been trying to rely on it and all these things have been changed, like chilled chaos over the last 10 years. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'd love to know your thoughts. If any of you have uh, experienced any of these things, if you can relate to anything Chilled Chaos is going through, like, let me know down in the comments below, all right? Anyways, thanks again, Jasmine, for recommending I check out this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I love you all so, so, so much. And if you would like to help me and my internal locus of control, go ahead and click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.